Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable craft paper envelopes using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. Envelopes can be so expensive, so if you can make them yourself and customize them and make them beautiful like these, then all the better. So all you're going to need is a roll of craft paper. So what I did was I cut a piece off of my um, my big roll downstairs, and you can see I've already, I've already made one envelope. This is about 10 inch wide piece and that gives you enough to make two envelopes. This is an 18 inch wide um, It was an 18 inch wide roll that I have. I find that to be a very useful size and what I'm going to do is Simply tear my paper against my template now This is a green sneakers template if you don't have this template go ahead and just take an envelope You already have steam it with a tea kettle take it apart trace it and cut it out This is just um, easy for me because I can rip the paper right against it since craft paper is a very soft paper, it's very easy to rip against a template like this. And don't worry if you have any ragged edges, it's not going to show when you're all done. I'm just tearing it right along. And there we go. Now for this template, all I have to do is replace the middle part and fold the uh, envelope right around it. And you can use whatever envelope template you prefer. I just happen to like this one because um, I can make a lot of envelopes really quick. And if you're doing something like invitations or, um, I don't know, a holiday card or birthday cards or something, sometimes you want to you wanna make a bunch all at once, especially with invitations. Craft paper is so trendy right now that I'm seeing it used a lot for weddings, so this would be a really great way for you to outfit a wedding. So what I'm going to do here, and you don't have to, but I like to notch out the... Uh, the top area here so that the flap can open and close and you can put a card in and out really easily but again it's up to you now i'm just going to finger crease these the, these again and use a little bit of adhesive right here to close it use whatever adhesive you prefer there we go now we're ready to do some stamping on our envelope to really customize it so since i'm upstairs in my office and this is a great tip use a mouse pad when you're going to do some stamping i'm also going to put a piece of scrap paper right on top so that i don't um i don't get ink on my mouse pad or my table and then i'm just going to make sure to put my paper right side up my envelope right side up on my um my squishy surface. Stamping works a lot better when you have a surface with a little bit of give to it. And I'm gonna use some flower stamps. This is a, uh, a daisy from Stampin' Up! and it's kind of a fun set because you have the um, you have the flower top and then you have you know the stems and petals. You can stamp everything separately which is nice because you can make it fit whatever um, whatever your project is. Now I kind of made a mistake. Look I didn't quite connect my my flower to the stem so what I'm going to do is just use a pen and extend it a little bit. Now I think I'll put a little bumblebee in there too because it's really cute so I'm just going to use this little bumblebee stamp and put him right there. So there now we're ready to color. I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see me color a little more close up. Okay, I have a few colored pencils here. Um, you can use whatever brand you like. Colored pencils tend to be more opaque, so they really show up on the craft paper. The pencils I'm using are by Colorsoft, but again, use whatever you have. I'm using a um, pine green color, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark green here on the edge of my, um, my flower, and also to the edges and center vein of my petal and I'm not putting a lot of pressure because with this um, craft paper it's it's got a little texture to it but it's not super rough so I don't want to clog the tooth. Now I'm going um, over the pine green and next to it with um, some light green. I find that um, if you're looking for pencils that are very affordable that um, Prang makes a really nice set and um, you can get them right at any office supply store and um, they're really a lot of bang for your buck. I used to get them a lot for my students when I was teaching art classes to kids full time. All right, I think I want to darken that stem up a little bit, but I love how the colors just glow on top of that craft paper. Isn't that nice? And a big roll of it won't set you back very much. And I find that I love using it for um, wrapping presents and um, all sorts of different crafts. And you don't have to feel like you're wasting it because it's so inexpensive. It's also a great surface for covering your table so you don't um, get a paint on it or get it dirty or even covering a table so the kids can 
just go to town coloring on it. This is um, some bright orange I'm adding to the bottom of my petals. Now I'm adding some deep cadmium on top. I hope I'm not too painful to listen to with my, uh, with my, my uh, raspy voice. It sounds worse than it is. My sore throat is completely gone. It's just a little bit of a uh, little bit of residual uh, residual hoarseness, I guess, from my cold last week. I'm adding this um, lemony color on top, and again, I'm not applying that much pressure. Now, if I want to add a nice highlight, I can go in with this nice creamy. Uh, it's called lemon sorbet, but it's really like a cream color. And I'm just going to go in and add some highlights on the tops of those petals. Can even add some of that to the uh, to the leaf if I want. There, just kind of a nice little sun ray color. Now for my uh, bumblebee here, I'm gonna add some of this uh, darker yellow, this deep cadmium yellow, to the edges of the bumblebee's body, and some of the light right in the middle. Sorry if that's jiggling the table. I've got I was coloring that kind of hard. Now I'm just deepening the legs and the head and the antenna and also the little stripes on our little bumblebee here. See, it doesn't have to take a long time and I think that this would be really nice to do. Um, you know, if you're preparing for a party, this is something you could um, you could stamp out a bunch of these and then color them in the evenings when you're relaxing and watching TV or maybe when you're helping the kids with their homework, you, you're sitting at the kitchen table with them. You could be coloring a few of these in between the times when they don't really need you to help. And there you go. Isn't that cute? And it really didn't take a lot of time. And how special would it be to get that in the mail? You have room to write your address here, stamp there, and return address there. And it's just such a fun project. Here is um, some other flowers that I stamped. I did it the exact same way. Um, and it's just regular colored pencils, so there really isn't much you need other than that roll of craft paper. You could even use some washi tape to decorate the front and close it if you didn't want to use adhesive. So there's lots of ideas uh, for using Paper Mart products in your crafting and saving some money too while you're at it. Thanks to Paper Mart for sponsoring today's video. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, happy crafting.